Hello there, traveler. I was just about to close down for the evening, but with you still here, how about one more drink? Something on your mind? Everything, nothing, all at the same time? I get that. It's the funny thing about thoughts, is that they tend to have a mind of their own, don't they? And if left alone long enough, a thought becomes a wandering one, and a wandering thought can become an intrusive one. And we've all been there where all it takes sometimes is just one to completely change our day. Hmm? Now, it's true that we don't always get to control our thoughts, but we do have a choice on how we respond and the actions we take after the fact against those trespassing murmurs of the mind that tell us we're not good enough, our inadequacies, our uh, comparing ourselves and guilting us. If I may suggest, a good course of action to take against such things is to, as they say, do and be. Doing things you enjoy and being present in the moment. Because here's the fact, here's the secret. That, that intrusive thoughts only have control over you when they can pull you from the present to make you think of something in the future or the past. That's where they have the power over you. But by choosing to be present in the moment and surrounding yourself with wonderful blessings, you can fill your mind with memories and experiences that can help drown out those negative ones. Now, is this a foolproof plan? Unfortunately not. There will always be those voices that want to try to get their word in edgewise. But, it is possible that by choosing to be present, doing and being, is that it can prevent your mind from wandering to the past, thinking of griefs you can't change, or into the future, thinking about anxieties that may never occur. Just a thought. Be safe out there.